Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, this is gonna be a very quick video today. Actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna stay too long. But um, most of you already know about Hurricane Helene, and it has devastated up to about five different states, including North, the Carolinas, North and South Carolina, Florida, to name a few. And you've seen the images, you've seen the devastation, and a lot of people still are in need of help. So in this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what hurricanes can potentially do to your in community, basically. Other than the destruction that we've seen, the images of people are just floating away in cars, homes are floating away along the coast, to name a few, people are getting stuck. Unfortunately, you see some floating things in the water, the, to name a few. We don't talk about the power outage, outages that happens, no food, water, um, access to clean water and, clean f and, and food is pretty scarce. Sometimes people have lived in these homes for a number of years so there's sentimental me memories that are being washed away now it's very difficult to avoid a natural disaster such as that the only thing that we can do is prepare ahead of time if the storm is coming into your flood zone area then you need to evacuate listen to the warnings by authorities and evacuate as best as possible. But there are some times and some people decide that they hunker down and they'll stay in their homes regardless of the outcome. And unfortunately, I actually saw an image yesterday of the water just literally coming out of the forest or the trees onto the bypass and just washed everything away. Um, that's scary. That is absolutely scary. Not to re recant too much of history, but, you know, here in New York, we did have that similar experience with Hurricane Sandy. We had about probably close to what, 50 people passed, died, uh, and we had power outages as well. Uh, the subway systems were flooded. Typically, when we whenever we have a, a huge storm, such as a hurricane or anything, or a rain, we get a lot of flooding. A lot of flooding. So, this is no different. So, if something like that were to hit us, yes. I think that we would be in grave danger. We have a lot of high-rise buildings here which to be fair i think most of us would be okay if we get to a higher ground so we can be airlifted out if we if need be because you know um our buildings are, are very high but i think what new yorkers are most concerned with is what if we end up like at the bottom of the Hudson River or at the bottom of the Atlantic, especially Manhattan, the island of Manhattan, because we, Manhattan is just surrounded by water, completely surrounded by water. The other, other boroughs like Brooklyn and Queens, you know, you can go central away from the coastlines to, you know, um, areas like Coney Island gets hit pretty badly. Um, close to JFK. Yeah, those are along the coast. Long Island Sound, yeah. Um, Staten Island, yeah, they get hit pretty bad because they are also surrounded by bodies of water. So yeah, that's that's technically it for this particular video. For those of you who have loved ones who lived in these states that have been impacted by Hurricane Helene, there are ways that you can help and i'm not going to i'm not going to comment on the government's response apparently there is misinformation about their response 
but there is no misinformation when we we all heard that they're giving them for those who are in need seven hundred and fifty dollars there are some residents of north carolina specifically who said that they weren't able to log on to the internet and and apply for these things but that's a whole different conversation i don't want to get too political if you do if you're here in the new york area and you want to help your fellow um, americans who are in desperate need of help you can always donate to the american red cross uh, north carolina's disaster relief fund north carolina voluntary organization active in disaster fund if you want to donate to Florida, there Florida has their own disaster fund as well. AmeriCares, All Hands and Hearts, and the World Central Kitchen. Finally, the Convoy of Hope. And these are some websites or some organizations that you can start to donate there or if not you can always look on x because people are actively posting on x around uh, their experience with the hurricane helene so i would imagine that you'll be able to find out where you can help apparently there is another hurricane on its way preparing to hit Florida called Milton, Hurricane Milton. This is a pretty nasty storm that it's on its way. This is really not a good look, but you know, be safe out there. See you guys in the next video. Guys, thank you so much for helping me read 100,000 views. And I know that it doesn't necessarily translate into subscribers but i am just very grateful the fact that you guys are still rocking with me and <laughs> with the inconsistencies of my channel and how i post certain content thank you very very much for rocking with me these years this month actually i turn this channel turns three years old so shout out to you guys who are still here and whenever i upload you still there's still viewership so i i really do thank you and the new people who are coming in thank you so very much looking forward to making even more content